guys or should i say hey guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel today we are in a rock style vibe i have hairs all over um and i just chopped my hair by the way so it's still gaining some form but i i love when i have a fresh cut never mind back to the video basically today i'm gonna show you how i did this makeup and it's a very rock and roll glam rock vibe makeup and it's actually inspired by a maneskin so if you guys don't live under a rock you're probably hearing a lot about maneskin lately people are going crazy basically they are a band italian band that won the eurovision contest i personally love the glam rock androgyny style so every time a band comes up like that um i understand why people crush on it so yeah you have me on your side i'm crushing as well i don't know too much about that particular band uh it's still something very fresh but when i was younger i had my crushes very similar actually my first man crush ever was the vocalist of the band him Finland, you know, uh, yeah, he was hot and it was my first concert. I was like 10 years old and I was crushing so hard. So it's definitely the same um, glam androgyny vibe, of, although they were a little bit more dark on the songs, I think. Uh, either way, I get you, I get you. I love the whole androgyny rock style. That's why I'm wearing this and wearing this makeup today. And I hope you guys like it. So if you want to see how I achieve this, Alright guys, so let's start this fresh paste. I'm going to use a primer. I'm just gonna drink water. I'm so thirsty lately. I know what's happening. I never used to drink water and I'm so bad at it. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old and needing some more stuff in my life, like healthy stuff. <laughs> Primer. So this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and I don't use primer all the time but today I'm doing my makeup and it's already late. It's, it's late. It's like after lunch and I only use moisturizer in the morning so... I'm gonna use foundation now. I know lately I haven't been using... I just have been using concealer but today um, it's a little bit more of an interesting, different glam night makeup So I want to use foundation today And I'm gonna use this one that I actually used on the video where I reviewed the brand Florazis And this was one of my favorite products that came out of that video Which is this foundation cushion thing I don't really know the name, Lotus Skin Nurturing Cushion so I just go with my blender and I just tap. I really love using this foundation because it definitely works as a concealer. This especially it's kind of light and it's thick and easy to apply. So yeah, I really love it. And now I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me foundation, which I have in a bit of a darker color than this one, which is totally super bright. And this is the Golden Camel, and I'm gonna go on top. And if you haven't noticed, I haven't applied foundation, like the cushion one, on this part right here, only on the part that I really wanted to highlight and conceal. So with this one, which is a little darker, I'm going over those spots as well, basically all over the face. Please let me know in the comments if you like me to do the entire face like I'm doing today or if you think it's boring and would rather me doing just like eyeshadow and um, lipstick and all that really changes between makeup looks. Now for the contour, I always do powder contour on my videos, so today I'm gonna do creamy contour. <laughs> and this one, uh, I have it for the longest time, so I'm betting that they don't have this on the website anymore, but they might have something similar, so I'll try to find it for you and add a link. But this is by Kiko Milano and it's the Full Protection Stick Foundation, but in a very dark shade, this is number 13. And I use it as a creamy contour, but have it for the longest time because uh, I only use it for contour so it lasts it really lasts long <laughs> I'm just adding to all the places where I usually contour right 
and nose contour nose contour i get so many comments about my nose contour let's see what people are going to say today since it's creamy um a lot of people say i contour too much or i don't blend enough i always do my makeup for my insta pics and everything you know I, I am doing it on the forehead so i'm gonna get my bangs but the way of course i go a little overboard when i do my nose contour because i like how it turns out on pictures makeup always fades a lot on pictures but yeah i'm just blending i'm using the beauty blender for everything because i'm lazy today And since we are doing everything cream, why not add cream blush as well? This one is from NYX and it's the Bright Idea in shade number 4, Rose Petal Pop. Now go over the spots where you probably already creased, so you wanna go over them with a beauty blender to soften those spots before we set all of this and we are setting with Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder which is my all-time fave um, so cheap and so good so yeah, just setting everything starting underneath the eyes Alright, so everything is set. Now, highlighter, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatts in Chills, which is super, super bright. I'm gonna add it here to the tip of the nose, and come on. Come on, you need to be really careful with this highlighter. And I'm adding a little bit here, like you're adding straight snow into your face. A little bit on top of the lip and on the chin and I'm adding here underneath the brow as well I'm gonna go to brows next but adding a pop of glue and I'm gonna go crazy and add a little bit here like we just cried some tears some glam rock tears now I'm gonna do brows and I'm gonna do something a little bit different today all right so I'm using this iconic oh my god how dirty <laughs> Yeah, like this is perfect. <laughs> so this is the Iconic London Brow Silk product, which basically resembles a soap. And it comes with this brush, so you basically just rub it. It helps if you wet it first. The brush or the soap-like product. And then we are just brushing that. As you can see, it will become so defined and bushy and I want that look for today. I think it's very rock vibes. And now to fill them, I'm gonna use this Lift and Snatch NYX product. It's called Brow Tint Pen and this is the color Ash Brown. So what I'm gonna do with this is just to add more hairs, like the design, literally draw them. I think I'm happy with them now. This is as bushy brows as I can get. And now let's start the fun part, which is the eyes. And I'm gonna use this palette, which is the NYX Ultimate Palette. I'm using a lot of NYX today, actually. It has a lot of dark tones, which is exactly what we need if you wanna be a rock star. <laughs> I'm actually going to start with the black. And I prefer to start with the black next to the eyelash and then blend it with another color, like a gray or something, or even if you want to blend it with like a burgundy, it's also really cute. Now using a bigger brush, what I'm gonna do is to use this gray right here to kind of blend. So you add the gray here to the line where the black stops and you go through it so it creates like a gradient and more like a smoky eye. And with a smaller brush with the same gray, I'm gonna add it here underneath the eye and 
And with the same brush I'm gonna get the black pigment now and go over the bottom part as well. I think I need an even smaller brush for this. So I just wanna add the pigment like right beneath the bottom lash line. And I'm gonna do the same with a small brush, just over the top lash line to really insert black pigment next to it. And with a bigger brush I'm just going to try to destroy here a little bit the edges. I don't want it to be too much like a cat eye shape. I even want to drag it down a little bit. It's more of a round shape like this. Now with an angular brush like this, I'm gonna add some black pigment as well here, really next to the inner corner. Give it a little bit of shape. You can use a eyeliner pencil for this if you prefer, if you're more comfortable than adding a brush. All right, now I'm gonna add mascara. So this is the Maybelline Sky High mascara and I actually used it on my TikTok trends video. That's where I discovered this. And something that I usually do now is when I finish the top lashes without going inside the tube again so it doesn't have too much ink I like to brush the brows see the difference? it looks so much thicker but if it's too thick for you, you can just skip this step and do the same with the other eye alright so mascara done and I finally removed my clips from my bangs finally I feel like me again but before the lips I just thought I might add some glitter because glam rock and rock in general love glitter and so do I so uh, I'm gonna add this which is my favorite glitter ever it has super big chunks and it's just amazing actually I've been using it uh, lately a bit and you guys asked me about it on my insta stories and i think it was on tiktok as well so it's the color pop literally obsessed in color disco lady and it has some huge chunks can you see i'm gonna remove it with the brush can you see how big the chunks are so i'm gonna take some of them and just add them here like i just cried some glitter tears I'm happy with it like this it gives that pop of glow so now time for lips I'm gonna balm my lips first and this is just a random lip balm it's called Dr. Papa in case you wanna know and then I'm gonna use the Girl Addict lipstick like matte lip paint in color divine and I like to add this while I still have the balm and I always like to tap with my finger to kind of dry it out and blend it and on the center I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty cream and this is the color Fruit Snack I like to add it here on the inside and then just Close my lips swiftly. And I was just about to finish this video when I was looking at my own makeup and I decided that this black isn't black enough for me. So I'm adding this Stilazi gel liner, which the color is called Jet, which is a straight super dark black. And I'm just going to add some here because as you can see, it's more black than the black shadow. So I'm using it to darken it out even more. Sorry to add this last minute step to the makeup, but yeah, sometimes. You just improv as you go. So definitely it was the last step that I needed. 
Okay, so this is it. I'm so much happier with this shade of black. So definitely already <laughs> done with the makeup. I'm really happy with the result. I think it's a makeup that it's especially good for nighttime, but uh, if you want to wear it on a daily, I think it's good too. It has the glam vibe, the glam rock vibe, but you can definitely pull this off on a daily if that's your thing. And uh, I really respect that because I love this style of makeup. So yeah, so here's a little footage of this glam makeup. Makeup. So yeah guys, that's it. I hope you guys like this makeup, the rock makeup chic, the rock glam rock vibe, man is keen inspired. Yeah, it was a whole lot of inspiration for this and I hope you guys like it. Let me know down below in the comments if you like it and if you want more makeup tutorials. I never know if you guys really like makeup tutorials or, or not. I want to give it to you because you guys ask a lot. But at the same time, I don't want to bore you with the same content. So let me know. I love to hear your feedback. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, TikTok or Depop where I sell my closet, the links are down below on the description. And yeah, that's it. I see you next week. Love you guys!